Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Calendly in an ideal way to do three things. To reduce no-shows, to get them to understand what you do, and to disqualify unqualified people. If you've never watched one of my videos before, my name is Matthew Larson and I am the founder of 1000x Leads. So let's get right into it. You'd pull up your Calendly account or whatever it is you're going to use. You're going to create a new event here. Choose one-on-one. -on -one. And we're just going to put a thousand X leads call. I use Zoom for mine. That's what's connected. You could use whatever you want. 30 minutes. Yeah, we could do 30 minutes. So in this, you're going to want to take care of a few different things. So the event details, you're would going to have a description. You would have, let's go back, scheduling, you take care of that. Booking page, take care of that and then communication. So we're going to do all of these things here. So 1000x leads is a 120 day done with you lead gen program that helps you build a complete marketing funnel. It helps solve the four main problems businesses face. Number one, no one knows who you are. Not enough leads. All clients come from referrals nothing to offer unqualified leads so, so something like this just a little bit of overview of what you're going to be doing that is kind of the most basic part the least important part i would say so what you want to do is you want to set your date range no more than seven calendar or seven weekdays into the future for a few reasons, like 60 days, what it's default, like, are you going to be available 60 days from now, that kind of stuff. And it also just implies that you don't have anything going on, if that makes sense. We can just book a call with you at any time they want and oh my god, that's it. So what you want to do, what I always do is add 15 minutes of buffer time before and after. So if buffer time means like, if they were booking at 12pm or something, that you would have 15 minutes before and 15 minutes after. So it would be booked from 11.45 to 12.45. This will, after buffer time and after is good for if it runs long, which it usually does, and before is good for your research. Minimum notice, I always do 24 hours just because you got to schedule your day, right? Time zone, use invitees. Start time increments, 30 minutes. You could do 30 minutes, you could do an hour, you could do whatever you'd like. So let's do that because that's good enough for now. We'll go save and close. The next thing we want to do is our booking page options and make the link whatever you want, really. But we want to do a few things to this page. So we are want to have their name their email, their phone number. And we want to make sure all of these are on required because we don't just want to be, you know, letting anybody do it. Website URL, if non valid URL, website will or call will be automatically canceled. What is your monthly revenue? So this is where you get into your current one, because I always think of, you should ask a few different questions. The first is, what is your monthly revenue? And then say, like, this is only for people who are over a certain revenue. So for 1,000x leads, what is your monthly revenue? This program is for those over 10K per month. I always ask, or I always say the price on this because for two reasons. One, it's going to, if, if they're not agreed to pay the price or if they're not okay with it, they're not going to book a call and that's good. We don't want people who aren't going to pay to book a call. It's just a waste of time. And then two, oftentimes it sets like a little price anchor. If you say our price is between 5 and 10K and they say, okay, that's fine. And it ends up being closer to 5K. They're going to be thrilled with that. And if it ends up being closer to 10K, at least they're prepared for it. So our program costs $4,000 as a one-time fee for a year's access. 
are you okay with this? And they should say yes or not book a call. And then the next one is, how familiar are you with us and our services, or in this case, our program on a scale of one to 10? Because this is a very good question, because this is going to impact how the call goes. Someone who says three, the call is going to be a lot different than someone who says 10, for example. So it's about collecting the good information ahead of time. What would you like to have what what would you like to have or let's maybe i could speak proper english what would be an ideal outcome or what do you want to happen by the end of the call please put please write two to three sentences something of that nature what would their ideal result be so if we click on here now we have questions and i don't think it'll let us preview but we have all these questions that will give us a lot more information which is just super important that we have as much information as we can going into the call the next thing we're going to do is or it says after booking so once they submit like this is kind of what it means i'm going to redirect to an external site and we want to whatever presentation or thing we're going to share on the call we want to take that link and put it here so that once they book, they'll be automatically redirected to this. So that will give us basically more familiarity. It'll give them a chance to understand what we're actually doing on the call and that kind of stuff. Here is the reminder. So basically what we've done so far is we've set up the questions to disqualify unqualified leads if they are not over 10k they're not gonna pay four thousand dollars like probably not gonna book we have given them a chance to learn more about our offer with the redirection page there so now the final one is to set up the reminders basically so what we also want to do is if you cannot make it please reschedule or cancel ahead of time what we want to do here is it's gonna it's like variables and this is fine but we want to do before the call or we want to go like this important before the call please go through this document and this is just another reminder to essentially learn the information that they need to and we're going to copy and paste this and then what we're going to do is we're going to send email follow-ups text reminders and email follow-up or email reminders so what we want to do here is we want to do that same thing here again just like that we want to add reminders 24 hours four hours and one hour before you can play with that a little bit it's not you know crazy big deal the reason i don't like to do 30 minutes or 15 minutes before like some people do is because if by the time they get that reminder it's kind of too late if they're doing something so i like to do four hours and an hour I do the same thing with text message just like that and then for the email follow-up thanks for your time Here is the document we spoke or we went through on the call, but I'll also send them a automated or a manual follow up to here. So it's a situation where you're kind of going to get double there. I think it's a good thing to do. So this is basically all you would need to do to set up your Calendly, your pre-call flow, as some people refer to it all you got to do so if we go here for example this is the live version now and we click there we have all of our questions we have the description we have all of this stuff we have their phone number do, 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 do. and then let's fill it out here i don't want to put my phone number too late too late for me google.com Yes, yes, yes.
Fine, I'll put my phone number. So now when we've confirmed it, you're scheduled with Matthew Larson, which is me, and now it redirects. So we've successfully done every single thing we have set out to do. And that's all there is to it, really. This is going to reduce your no-shows, have more rapport on the call because they know what you're doing, and it's also going to discourage people who can't pay from booking a call in the first place. So three main benefits.